like to talk about what is SDLC and what is STLC and what is the difference between these two and this question is uh, I have been asked this question uh, during the interview times and and one of my subscriber also wants me to explain the difference between SDLC and STLC so I would like to give my shot to explain you the easiest way I can so now let's talk about SDLC so the question is what is SDLC stands for so software development life cycle so so the means life cycle during the process of software development that's what this means so how a software is developed how it starts what stages it goes on then how it completes uh, that's what SDL that's what software development life cycle means so now let's talk about now let's talk about how software development starts so software development starts with the requirements so we when whenever someone develops a software first thing they look at is they have a requirement document saying okay develop this website and the first page will have home page and home page tab and the uh, services tab whatever those are and it will have a login page asking for the login and the password pw then you should be in a proper format and the the login box should be in the middle of the page so these details will be mentioned in the requirement document and usually the requirements are done by the business analyst so so once the requirements are done then the next level is the design phase the requirement is done then the architecture what architect guys does they do design the application based on the requirement and once the design is done then coders or programmers comes on board and they develop the application over the design says and based on the requirement document so that's what the coders or programming phase is and once the once the programmers does their program to whatever it says from the requirements then it's a tester's job to test it to make sure the developed application works as per the requirements and once the application is tested then the programmers develop the application and testers tested it and they say it's all good and stuff then it goes to the next level that's called reproduction it goes I mean it goes to live so when once the gmail is done then the gmail is released to the public people to actually use it so I took the gmail as an example so you can take any example so when the software is done development is done testing is done the next phase is the production it goes live and when the application is is in live and people are using it if there is if they get any issues during their usage then they will then they will have a maintenance team to actually look after or, or they'll have a maintenance or support team to look after these issues these are the phases in the software development life cycle so i want to uh, uh, go high level once again so in the software development the first step starts with the requirements phase then the next step goes with the design phase so requirements is business analyst uh, gathers the requirement and documents them then the design phase so software architect a solution architect designs the application or design the software so once it is designed then the programming programmers goes and the program the software or application once the programmer develops the application then the testers goes in and test the application when the testing is done then the application released to the market so release slash production once the application is in production then they have a maintenance and support team to have to look after any issues during the during this phase so that's what software development life cycle is so very easy to remember these are very six steps but but people define in their own features some says five some says seven how they categorize right so for now here is the six you can follow the six so nothing is wrong as long as you cover these phases nothing is wrong all right so great so when someone asks you software development life cycle this is what you have to say requirements phase design phase once requirements done then you design once the design is done then you develop once the development is done then you test once test is done then you release to the market and then there's the maintenance like support that's the phases these are six phases and very easy to remember it's like every other development life cycle or anything like you know 
even even the same thing goes for a house right you have to look after how you want the house then you design it then the workers the work on it then it test its quality guy tests it then it's the market it's similar stuff it's it's this life cycle goes everything now i'll explain you next stl stls right you, you have a similar comparison all right so this is the diagrammatic representation of sdlc you know analysis phase and requirements actual analysis means requirements gathering analysis documentation in the design phase then the coding phase then the deployment test and then deploy then the support maintenance and support that's what this means and then what is a software testing life cycle so software testing life cycle right so this is the life cycle of software testing so when you test an application how how or when the testing starts then what phases testing goes then when the testing completes this is what the testing life cycle right so now how when actually testing starts so testing starts with requirements study so when you have the requirements from the business analyst the first job th as a tester we have to do is we have to read the requirements we have to study the requirements once we read the requirements then what we do we do the test planning so based on the based on how big are the requirements or how much are them so the we categorize the way there are the testing deliverables that's called test strategy and test planning so and test case writing and test scenarios writing so we write our, our deliverables based on the requirements we develop the strategy how many phases this thing go what are the strategy how we are approaching and stuff then once the test strategy is done then we work on the test plan test plan document pretty much is about the planning phase of a testing like how we are planning you know how many cycles are we testing how many regression test cases we are writing then what are our resources what are the timelines when actually we are starting our testing and all these details so once software testing is done oh sorry once the test planning is done then the next phase is writing test cases then we start writing the test cases so test cases we write test cases then we review the test cases then once test case is reviewed and it's all approved so then we start the test execution test execution is a very important phase in the testing and then during the testing if you get any defects we call also known as bugs so bug logging and uh, we have to log those uh, in the bug tracking tools like hpqc alm jira so many other tools to bug or uh, defect management tools then once we have to log it and we have to track it if they what are the status their open status or you know closed status fixed status and so on like that and then like yeah these are status close or reopen bugs this is how a software testing life cycle goes so what is software testing life cycle life cycle of a software testing so software testing starts with the requirements study once you study the requirements then we do the test planning test planning means a test strategy test plan document and then test cases test scenario these these are part of the test planning then writing the test cases then once you write the test cases or once whatever the deliverable that we do we have to review them then we have to actually have a approval from the stakeholders whoever we need to and then we have a review we have to execute those test cases so test case execution is a very important phase during the software testing phase and then and then there is a defects when we once we get any defects during the test case execution then we log those defects and tracking then we close the defects and then sign off the testing phase so once you close the defects and then that's that's pretty much done right so it's you are saying application is tested there are 10 defects and it's all fixed so no defects now application is very good to go right then it, then testing is done then whoever next phase the deploys the application into live that's how the testing life cycle goes on so now we are clear right what is stlc the software testing life cycle and the so and here is the diagram it's pretty much you can you know project initiation system study test plan test design so people uh, people actually different are uh, like describe in their own terminology on uh, these phases but in a high level you can ca you can say this as your software testing life cycle so whenever i ask you some life cycle so you have to think you have to think actual actual meaning of it so how life cycle of a software testing works so where the software testing starts and where it ends so software testing starts with the requirements gathering there you go 
and you remember SDLC also after development also is have the requirements so requirements are the first step if you want to do is software testing or if you want to do software development so it's very clear right so now to summarize what we have discussed so far software development life cycle means software development has the six phases and software development starts with the requirements phase then design then coding then testing once testing is done then release and then maintenance and then software testing life cycle so after testing starts with the requirements review or requirement study then the test planning test planning is done then we do the soft test cases writing then review the test cases then execute the test case is called test execution it's a very important phase in the software testing then then there is a defects phase then defects logging tracking close and open you can write as a 